Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We are going to suffer Neptune's wrath. Yes, that's right, the Roman god of rivers, streams, and lakes, and fresh water bodies. However, around the 4th century BC, he became associated with Poseidon, the god of the sea, and after that became one and the same. But they were two individual gods. So, we're not actually here to talk about those gods, but we are here to make Neptune's Wrath, which is a cocktail that was created in 2007 at Violet Hill by Toby Maloney. And it's a simple cocktail, basically sort of a gin sour, but it's going to have some anise notes and some herbaceous notes, and it's going to be fantastic. So let's get into it. Now this is a shaken cocktail, so you're going to need your shaking glass. And the first ingredient we're going to use is a dry gin. In this case, I'm using Dylan's Dry Gin. It's a local product to me and it's fantastic. And we need an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Quarter of an ounce or 7.5 milliliters absinthe. Three quarters of an ounce, 22 and a half mils simple syrup. Three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 milliliters lemon juice. One egg white. All right, put that there, oops. I'm gonna save that for later, I'll just put that over here. Clean my hands up. Now what you're going to do is take your lid and you're gonna slap it on there to make sure it's really solid for this. Because what happens is, once you start shaking this hard without ice, you will get some expansion as the egg white emulsifies. Pop that back off, put it on, give it a flip, and shake it hard with a smile. Oh yeah, look at that. Pop that open like so. Now what we're going to do is we are going to add two or three chunks of ice. And you just want stuff that's about one inch by one inch or two and a half centimeters by two and a half centimeters. And this will dilute a little bit and continue to break down and emulsify the egg and give us that gorgeous form. So take your uh, glass, give it a gentle wipe down on the edge, just because we wanna make sure we have a good solid seal and then shake it hard with a smile again. But you wanna shake it for 15 seconds. Yeah, pop that off like so with the strength of, I don't know, a thousand egg yolks. No, egg whites. Now, grab your glass of choice. I'm using a nice little stemmed goblet here. However, you could use whatever you want, a Nick and Nora, a coupe, totally up to you. And we're going to fine strain this because this will help keep the bubbles tighter. It'll also help to remove any existing membrane membrane that may actually be in there. Oh yeah, look at that. Fantastic. Now, what we're going to do for the garnish, and this is where you get the parental advisory sign, grab your chartreuse. We're gonna pop this bottle for the first time. Oh, fantastic. And what we're going to do is we need a quarter of an ounce and what we're going to do is we're going to actually light this on fire. So if you would turn the lights out, please. Aye, and that's why you have to be very, very careful when playing with fire because you could set fire to something really important like your bar, or more importantly, yourself. So always, always be careful, and that's my parental advisory for you today. So I'm gonna close the booze up before I light anything else up because I know me. So let's give this a try. Immediately you get some absinthe and some hints of the green chartreuse. It's very balanced. I'm very surprised at that. You would think that the anise would come out overly strong, but it doesn't. The lemon juice and the simple syrup pull it together with the green chartreuse and it binds it gorgeous. This is a fantastic drink. You could even use an atomizer if you wanted to do it that way. What I'll do is I will put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. And if this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic day.